you, you know point guard play more than anybody out there. What have you seen about the with from those guys in particular, Rob, DJ, Reed, even, uh, and you know, just what, what's their transition been like, and and what, what you've seen so far? I mean, uh, they're all different, and they're all really good players. Uh, they're all skilled. They're we just have a bunch of basketball players, honestly, uh, guys who can break people down, can make plays as well as shoot the ball, um, pass the ball. So you know, I'm excited. Uh, these are good guards. I'm excited to, you know, add some things to their game, uh, show them a few things that, you know, I see. And, you know, I feel like the sky's the limit for all of them. And, you know, like I- I'm extremely excited for this year. Tyler, we, John Calipari went on Sports Center today and, and had a 10-minute segment, and he talked – he used a term that has been thrown out there a lot this summer, random basketball, and the ability to play random. Talk a little bit about that, and and what are some things and some benefits to being able to do that? Because we saw that we saw this team do that for four games in Toronto. Mm-hmm. Um, so th- that's what the NBA is going to, you know, random basketball, positionless basketball, and you know, when you add guys in like Trey, who's shooting threes at a forty percent clip, uh, you got Justin, who's six eight, who can you know play any position on the court, and you know, it goes back to us just being basketball players. Like anyone can make a play, anyone can get in the lane, anyone can knock the shot down. You know, we have so many options and, you know, so much depth. You know, it's hard not to have fun with this team. Uh, Like you said, in Toronto, we barely even put anything in. You know, we had a few plays. Defensively, we didn't put anything in, but they they rotated. They helped each other out. They they saved each other's back. And, you know, it was fun to watch. It was fun to be a part of. And, you know, I can't say it enough. Like, I'm extremely excited to see how this goes Um, because we're deep. Like I said, we have a lot of players and, you know, they're skilled. How much of that takes kind of thinking out of it too? With your, if you're running a bunch of sets early, you're, you're having to think and be in the right spots. But with playing random, you're you're in space and you're just making plays off of what the defense is giving you. How much of that takes some pressure off a young team being in that environment, being able to play that way? I think for you know any team, any basketball player, uh, me personally as well. Like if you're not overthinking, you're you're just playing. So you're reacting off your instincts and you're just playing ball. You're just having fun, just you know making reads, making plays. And I feel like that helps any young guy, especially in a new system, uh, that Cal is giving them the freedom to to be themselves, to make mistakes and, you know, learn through those things and, you know, just play basketball, be a basketball player. Uh, you don't want to put players in a box. Obviously, you're not going to be able to do the things you can do that you did in high school because you're playing with other great players. But, you know, when you give guys the freedom to go and the space to go and, you know, they're actually players, you know, then the, the game is – less on the coaches and, you know, more so on the players and, and they do their thing and make it happen. Cal's talked a lot about just how close this group is and the, the cohesiveness. And, uh, I mean, you could see it on the court, just the, the on-court chemistry, but I mean, just being around them this weekend at fantasy camp, there's just a, a connection with these guys that just feels different. What, what do you think that is? What, why do you think that they are as close uh, as they are just this early? Um, I feel like, you know, last year's team, they, they, those guys got along as well. But uh, this year is different because they're all young guys. So, you know, when you have seniors coming in, transferring. When you have, you know, people who have been there for three or four years, uh, they look at things different. So, you know, these kids are literally just here. They just, they just came to Kentucky. They want to play basketball. They literally run around the gym all day. I tell them my age, you, you don't even want to look at the gym. So, you know. It's just it's just fun. They just they just enjoy it. They're enjoying being here, getting better, uh, and they just really want it. They want it bad. They want to win, and they want to make it to the next level. You mentioned that you all didn't have a ton of things in offensively in Toronto, and and there was a lot of talk about shot charts that week and where shots were coming from. How much of that tower is different personnel, and then how much it of it is maybe an, an effort from the coaching staff to say, hey, here here's where we want shots to be taken from. Was it a combination of the two, or was it more one than the other? Um, I don't, we we really didn't uh, have a problem, I don't believe, with uh, the shots we were taking that I've heard of. Um, me, personally, I don't I don't go off that. I kind of go off the eye test. And um, I feel like those guys were playing good basketball. Um, they took open shots. They, they shared the ball. And, you know, we, we got out of there with winning most of the games by 20 uh, or more. And, you know, it's just we built from here. Like, they were literally fresh. <laughs> out of high school, you know, you can't ask them to be perfect. And, you know, they almost were. Uh, you know, for me, like I said, I'm just excited to see how this plays out. I'm excited to see these players grow. And, you know, once I feel like, you know, we, we get around here, you know, get a few practices, 
uh, they'll understand where they get their shots in the offense, uh, when they're going to get their shots, and you know how to play off each other. And to clear that up, there there were there were no negative comments about the shot okay. chart. Yeah. They were it was okay. all positive. It was from the <laughs> three point line and at the rim. Just I think it was an exciting style of play that people got to see on paper on a shot chart. And I think that that you mentioned the eye test. I mean, it, it passed. 